No, 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 she'll die. What do I do? Should I fly down and save her? But I've never tried flying before. And worst of all, if I were to open my wings right now, all of these people, I, my life would be, I'm so sorry. I just can't. Gotcha. That idiot, even an insect human can't survive a fall from this high. This is what you made me chase you around for? So that you could kill yourselves together? Everyone will be able to see. I could lose everything I have in my life, but... This must be the right thing to do. Everyone has secrets. Things they don't want others to see. Showing these private details to others is risky. It means revealing your weaknesses to the rest of the world. This is the story of a certain college student who becomes prey in the vicious world of a concrete jungle. This is his desperate fight for survival. Jungle Juice. Hello everyone, welcome to Webtoon Ran, and today we got Jungle Juice, which is a great webtoon, and let's get right on to it. One day, a mysterious company makes this bug spray called Jungle Juice, and it's essentially the special spray that kills almost any bug instantly. And basically, the company was like, okay, you know, you guys can have a competition. Try to kill the most interesting bugs you can find and upload it to the challenge, and well, there are prizes, and it's competition, and it's great, and people went around trying to kill exotic, unknown bugs with the Jungle Juice bug spray. But plot twist, um, that's not the only thing that the spray does. When you spray the bug and kill it, you become that bug. Or to be exact, you gain some of the characteristics of that bug and also its powers. And the main character, Suchan, kills a, a, um, a, tamdari, uh, a, tamdari, sorry, tamdari is Korean for dragonfly. I'm sorry, I read this in Korean, so um, my brain is catching up. But yes, he kills a dragonfly. And so he gains a dragonfly's wings, and as we find later, a dragonfly's sight, speed, reflexes, and a whole shebang. And essentially, this entire series is about a group of college students who have all these cool bug powers. Um, and they are have superpowers, well, bug powers, and they're fighting a bunch of bad people with bug powers that believe that people with bug powers should rule the world. Yep, that's pretty much it. And I know it's, it's a pretty typical premise, but I think the concept is really, really interesting. I've learned more about bugs than I have in my entire 15 years of life in the past couple months that I've read this webtoon. And it's pretty funny, and you gain a lot of new facts, and the storyline is pretty interesting. I mean, it's not anything like super, like, insanely special, great plot twist, great pacing or anything like that, but it's a pretty interesting story. It's kind of like My Hero Academia if all the students were college students and, you know, were, you know, bugs. And I, I really found it intriguing, and it, it was a fun read. It's a really fun read. And I really do enjoy Jungle Juice. And I'm going to show two different action scenes just and explain some of the different students' powers. I know this is spoilers, but, you know, you, you, can, you can skip this part or not watch the rest of this video if you're already intrigued to the series. And I'm just giving a couple more samples so you guys can be more aware of what this webtoon is about. What are you waiting for? I told you to kill me. Okay, but like this art style, like, oh Jesus, they didn't, like appreciate that art style, man. Oh my God. And he tries to kill her, but it doesn't work. Now, why does it not work? Her power, well, her bug actually, is um, a cockroach. And do you know how hard it is to kill a goddamn co it, it does not die. A cockroach does not. You cannot kill it. It is immortal. Um, except she didn't spray one cockroach. She didn't get combined by one cockroach. She got combined to multiple cockroaches. Like three million of them. Now, you know, you know she's immortal. She, she can't be killed. Like, she's immortal. Like, and she's, like, the main girl of, of the series, and pretty much the main, main guy, like, the main character's girlfriend, I think, is what's gonna happen eventually. But, like, yeah, she, she's immortal, essentially. That's her power, and it's pretty cool. And there's another girl that's about to appear, and her, uh, her power is quite obviously a scorpion. And, you know, you, she's got the scorpion strength, 
the you know the claws that can cut through stuff and the tail that can poison people and it's it's pretty cool and there are other students like a person who has the powers of a tarantula the person who has the power of a of a grasshopper grasshoppers are really dangerous i didn't know that until i, I talked talk about it. and the main character of course uses the power of a of a, of a dragonfly. I don't know why I'm having trouble saying dragonfly for some reason. And essentially, you know, you would think, you know, it's a dragonfly. What is it gonna do? <laughs> Buzz at me? Uh, dragonfly can move in sonic speeds. It can, it has super sight. Like it has like super vision. It can see anything like in 360. Like its, its eyes are made of these tiny little bug things. And essentially what the main character does is he can see and if, if he can see everything, he can move at supersonic speeds. And obviously if he can move at supersonic speeds, he can throw like sonic punches, which is really cool. And he's really fast and his reflexes are insane. And since, you know, he can literally see anything, he immediately, you know, can switch around and block. And, and it's all these, he has all of these really cool powers and all of the students have really cool applications of their, their bug powers. And I never knew that so many interesting bugs existed. There are so, even some bugs that can, you know, create fucking gunpowder and blow up stuff and people like that appear too. And I, I think it's just a, such an interesting concept with such a wide range of applicability. And I think it just really carries the series. And of course, the art style and the fact that the girls are gorgeous and the guys look really cool. And the character designs look insane. Like, I thought, I honestly thought this weapon would be disgusting. I don't, I don't, I hate it when, you know... People have, you know, bug parts, but, I mean, I like bugs, but people plus bugs, uh, but, you know, they make it look cool and sick and awesome and badass, and I would highly recommend the series. And one really interesting concept that they they play with is that, you know, a bug, all the bugs, they have kind of this internal instinct of, you know, who to run from. Like, for example, a, a dragonfly, it would be very hard for a dragonfly to fight against a a thing that eats dragonflies. Like, for example, let's say a dragonfly is fighting a a mantis. Then the dragonfly, even even if the dragonfly is technically stronger, the man they would lose. They are very likely to lose because they have this inner inner conception. They will get paralyzed because of the fear that a prey naturally feels when fighting a predator. The same thing goes for the other way around. Let's say main character Su Chan made a bunch of mosquitoes, uh, which are the a main source of dragonfly food. Um, he could like a hundred v ones mosquitoes because dragonflies are made to kill them, and the prey would immediately feel kind of this, this feeling of fear from fighting a predator. And because of that kind of food chain, how the food chain works within the bug world actually affects how some of these stats work. Of course, there you can like bullshit your way through with your will or whatever, but you know it's it's really cool, and it it kind of plays with themes of losing your humanity and kind of becoming this natural born predator, you know, survival of the fittest, and that's kind of what the bad guys are suggesting. And it, it's really cool, and there's a lot of conflict there. And I think it's interesting, I would give it a B tier, because, you know, it's not super, super deep. It, it, it has a really good concept, a really great application of the concept. It doesn't have incredible plot, but it has pretty good plot. It doesn't have incredible storytelling, but pretty good storytelling. It has a great prologue, the prologue of that I just showed, and therefore that kind of adds up to be a B tier. Of course, as the series progresses, there's some character arcs of the characters having these great, like, you know, they improve and stuff. There are pretty good character arcs actually in this, which which is what differentiates it between a C tier and B tier. But, you know, if it has some extremely great plot and some really great writing, and, and, and I, I'm not sure, maybe it could be an A or S tier. But of course, that's saying, you know, it's all done and I know everything that happens. But unfortunately, you know, we only have the first season so far. So that is what I'm going to give it. I might reassess it later, though. So B tier, I would highly recommend. And that was Weapon Rant for you guys. Goodbye.